Hello students, happy to meet you all once again. Welcome to Greater Chennai Corporation YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see a poem from third unit titled On the World's Stage, written by William Shakespeare. About the poet, William Shakespeare, he is one of the greatest dramatists of English literature. He has written 37 plays and 154 sonnets. About the poem, All the World's a Stage. This poem is the beginning of a monologue from Shakespeare's play, As You Like It, spoken by Jack. Students, do you know what is a monologue? Monologue means a long speech given by a person in drama. In Tamil, we say it is Nedumuli. The poet compares the world to a stage and life to a play and he catalogues the seven stages of man's life. Shall we see what are the stages of man's life? Shakespeare categorizes into seven stages. The first stage is infant stage. Second one is school boy. And the third stage is lover. Then the soldier. And the fifth stage is justice. Six stages called as old man by Shakespeare. And the last stage is second childishness. Shall we see the poem? All the world's a stage and all men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts. Shakespeare says all the world, the entire world is stage. He compares the entire world to the stage and all men and women merely players. He compares men and women of this world to the players. That is he called them as actors. In the first line Shakespeare compares the world indirectly to a stage and in the second line he compares men and women to actors. Indirect comparison is made by the poet so figure of speech used in these two lines is metaphor they, they have their exits and their entrances exit means a person's death and entrances means a person's birth he refers birth to entrance and death to exist and one man in his time plays many parts a man in his life in this period of time he plays different types of roles that means he plays different type of characters let's see the meaning for the hard words in these lines time it means a person's lifetime and part characters that is a man plays different type of characters in his lifetime his act being seven ages at first the infant mewling and pucking in the nurse arm shakespeare categorizes the man's characters that is his roles into seven ages that is seven stages the first stage is infant stage it is young baby stage a man Mewling and pucking, the baby makes weak noise. Mewling means a weak noise produced by the cat. The baby makes weak noise in the nurse arm and it often vomits and cries in order to get its mother's comfort, in order to seek her, its mother's attention. It often cries and vomits in the nurse arm. Let's see the meaning for the hard words. Ages, that means period of time. Infant, very young baby, mewling, a small big noise, pucking, vomiting. And then the next stage, second stage, that is, the then the whining school boy. With his catchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwilling to, unwillingly to school. Then the whining, whining means expressing unhappiness. The boy now goes to school. He goes to school unwillingly. He is not at all happy to go to the school. So he goes there unhappily with his satchel. Satchel means shoulder bag. The boy carries his school bag and moves to school unwillingly. The movement of the boy is compared to a snail. Creeping means moving slowly. The boy goes to school very slowly like a snail. Snail means nothing. The movement of the boy is directly compared to a snail. So the figure of speech used in this line is simile. With shining morning face, the boy's, prizes, the boy's face is bright but he goes to school unhappily, unwillingly to school. Thus the boy goes to school. Let's see the meaning for the hard words. Whining, expressing unhappiness. Satchel, shoulder back. The boy's carry school back to the uh, school right 
creeping walking slowly like a snail the boy is moving very slowly to the school and next ending the love war shining like furnace with a awful ballet made to his mistress eyebrow then the third stage this stage is called as lover stage shining like furnace fire furnace is the place where fire is made the boy in this stage is compared to a furnace he is like a fire with awful ballad ballad means song and woeful means sad song he often sings sad song in order to capture the attention of his lady love he would do anything to please her lady love let's see the meaning for the hard words furnace place where fire is made awful ballad it means unhappy song sing by the lover she he sings songs to get the attention of his lover then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like pad jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the can on mouse then the fourth stage is called as soldier by shakespeare once again i repeat the three stages first stage is infant stage and the second stage is school boy the third stage is lover and then the fourth stage is soldier this in this stage the man is full of strange oaths he is full of promises and bearded like pad his beard is like a pad that means leopard leopard means sirtha nu solvanga tamil la the young man in this stage is compared to a leopard figure of speech used in this line is simile jealous in honor he always care for his name and fame he cares only for his reputation sudden and quick in quarrel he is aggressive and makes decision very quickly he is aggressive and he is very fast and his activities are very fast in this stage seeking the bubble reputation he often seeks reputation reputation means pugal nu solvaanga laya bubble reputation the reputation of the soldier is compared to a bubble bubble means neer kumili nu solvaanga la neer kumili pole aliyukoodiya pugala thedi odrana the soldier in this stage so reputation is compared to a bubble figure of speech used in this line is metaphor even in the canon's mouth for the reputation for the name and fame the soldier is ready to face even the canon's mouth canon means large gun he is ready to face the gun point he is not at all ready to sacrifice or to give up his reputation let's see the meaning for the hard words oath promises pad leopard bubble reputation glory that is short lived aliya kudiya pugal adha neer kumiliyoda oppittirukanga canon it means large gun then the justice this is the fifth stage this stage is called as justice in far round belly with good cap on line with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances and so he plays his part then comes the fifth stage it is called as justice stage the man enters the middle age stage he behaves like a justice like a judge in this stage he is in far round belly, belly the man gained a good pot like belly in this stage by eating good chicken capon means chicken with severe eyes he has a severe look and beard of formal cut we can see the man in the middle age with formal cut full of voice uh, he is full of voice sayings he is he becomes a knowledgeable person in this stage and he starts to advises everyone he sees and he often quotes modern examples for his sayings and so he plays part does it that is the role of the man in this fifth stage this stage is called as justice because the man's man behaved like a judge in this stage let's see the meaning for the hard words justice someone very respected kept on like fat from eating by eating chicken the man gain fat in this stage as a result he is with the pot like belly sars sayings the sixth stage shift into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on the nose and pouch on side his youthful hose well said a world too wide the sixth stage is called as old man stage by shakespeare in this stage the man the appearance of the man become weak and thin as a result the trousers 
wear by the man become thin and we can see specks on the nose we can see the man in this stage wears specks on his nose and he carries pouch with him for money his youthful pose his youthful his youthful appearance change he become a thin and weak man in this stage will save a world too wide world is too big for man in this stage let's see the meaning for the hard words lean and slippered pantaloon it means thin old man band the appearance the majestic appearance of the soldier and the middle aged man now changed into a thin and weak old man pouch a small bag for carrying money hose thin trousers these are the trousers wear by men in those shakespeare's period a world too wide world much too wide for the shrunk shrunk and this big manly voice turning again towards childish trouble pipes and whistles in his sound for his shrunk shrunk that is the man's leg have grown weak in this stage his manly voice the high pitched voice of the man changed into a weak sound like a childish voice pipes and whistles in his sound whistles in his sound it means the high pitched voice turned into a low voice as we uh, hear as the man take breath while speak we can hear whistles in his sound shrunk shrunk it means man's leg have grown narrower with age treble treble high pitched voice pipes it means the high a high sound the high sound of the man changed into a low pitched voice like a childish voice last scene of all that end this strange eventful history is second childishness and near oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste sans everything last scene of all the last scene is called as second childishness that ends this strange eventful history that is the end of the man's entire history it is called the second childishness because the man forgets everything sans means without the man lost his teeth lost his vision and lost taste and at last he lost everything that is the end of the eventful history of the man the let's see the meaning for the hard words second childishness being like child again oblivion a state of forgetfulness in the last stage man forgets everything sans means without once again i repeat the seven stages first stage is infant stage and the second stage is school boy the third stage is lover the fourth stage is soldier fifth stage is justice then sixth stage is called as old man and the last stage Let's see the appreciation questions. A. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. Roman letter one. Which stage of life is being referred to here by the poet? The second stage. The schoolboy is referred here. Second question. What are the characters? Characteristics of this stage: the boy goes to school with his bags. He goes to school unwillingly, right? Third question: How does the boy go to school? The boy goes to school unwillingly, like a snail. You can pick all the answer from these given poem lines. You read twice the lines thoroughly and then answer the appreciation question. Fourth question, Roman letter four. Which figure of speech has been employed in the second line? See the second line, and shining morning face, creeping like snail. 
the word like comes here the boy goes to school unwillingly like a snail he is compared with a snail the word like is used here so what is the figure of speech used in this line simile right b then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pad jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth roman letter 1 what is the soldier ready to do the soldier is ready to quarrel you can see the word quarrel in the third line roman letter 2 explain bubble reputation bubble reputation refers to glory glory means puhal that is short lived glory is short lived third question what are the distinguishing features of this stage in this stage he is full of promises he tries to achieve reputation c and then the justice in far round belly with good cap on lined with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise sass and modern instances roman letter 1 whom does justice refer to justice refers to man in his fifth stage roman letter 2 describe his appearance he has a pot belly he has a serious look and a formal beard roman letter 3 how does he behave with the people around him he often give gives advice to people around him roman letter 4 what does he do to show his wisdom to show his wisdom he quotes that is the judge just a stage man quotes modern examples thank you students have a happy learning